And out of a developing story in Northwest Miami-Dade where it's been a tense morning near a school, police are investigating reports of shots fired near Brownsville Middle School and sent students and parents running for shelter. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live with the very latest from that school. Riel? Well, Elliot, after uh, several hours this morning, the lockdown has since been lifted here at Brownsville Middle School. We just watched as police wrapped up all the crime scene tape here right across the street at this nearby apartment complex, which is where they believe those gunshots originated. Chopper 4 overhead at Northwest 24th Avenue as police surround Brownsville Middle School. Students ushered by officers inside the building early morning after shots ring out. The school put on lockdown. I heard about 10 gunshots. We heard like in a war zone. They have, you know, it, all over. Police say the sound was also heard by officers in the area and picked up by their shot spotter system. Gunfire, they believe, was coming from across the street at this apartment complex. Shots just rang off. I, not, I can't tell you how much, but it was like rapid fire, like a big gun. Nothing small. Ray Gordon rushed over, worried it could be someone he knew. Everyone safe, instead running into a crush of concerned parents. On the corner also, didn't want to leave because they didn't know what was going on. Hours later, the lockdown lifted, but police still searching for any evidence. Scouring the grounds at the apartment building, looking for shell casings. A victim, but turned up nothing. By late morning, new activity outside of a single second floor unit that faces the school. No arrests yet, but officers standing by with guns. After finding out no injuries were reported, Miami-Dade Superintendent Alberto Carvalho using the shooting to target another issue. Tweeting, today's lockdown at Brownsville MS due to shots fired at a nearby apartment underscores the immense value that trained law enforcement officers bring to our schools. These are the only men and women who should be armed at our schools. And a short time ago, we just spoke to Miami-Dade police who tell us they don't have anyone in custody or even a suspect at this point, and they are still even searching for any evidence that gunshots were even fired. Live in Northwest Miami-Dade, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.